pro-Palestine protesters disrupted Congress and it did not go well for them. Gentlemen is recognized. Thank you, Chairman Jordan, Ranking Member Nadler, and members of the committee. My name is Conor Ogrijak, and it is an honor to bring my experiences before you today. Although I had hoped... The meeting will be in order. Again. Although I had hoped that my arrival to higher ed for Palestinian students. Mr. Agrijak, we'll, we'll keep trying. Thank you, Chairman Jordan, Ranking Member Nadler, and members of the committee. Palestinians deserve to speak on the genocide of their families. All right, sit down, you be Palestinian arrested. students Final deserve warning. to sit speak on the, the okay, cool. genocide of their families. Gentlemen, recognize. It is an honor to bring my experiences. Palestinian students should not be censored. You want to talk about putting money where your mouth is? There are 10,000, over 10,000 Gazans dead and more buried, <coughs> half of whom are under the age of 18. And you are going to spend money and talk about this? Where are the anti Zionist Jews in this room? Nowhere. So you are not offering. My name is Conor Ogrijak, and it is an honor to bring my experiences before you today. Although I had hoped that my arrival to higher education would mark the arrival to a bastion of free speech, my, many of my first-hand experiences of freedom of speech violations at the University of Buffalo came during my membership of UB's chapter of Young Americans for Freedom. So the pro-Palestine protesters, it's very interesting. I don't know um, if there is anything that's bringing America together right now than just the uniform, just loathing of all of these people who don't really know what they're fighting for, are actually um, getting on the nerves of all involved, even the people that are the liberals that would allegedly be on their side when it comes to all this. It's very interesting uh, because... Um, my Jewish liberal friends and neighbors, so Jewish liberals didn't quite understand um, that they're uh, a target of the ire of a lot of these people. And it's very interesting seeing my Jewish friends on the left kind of wake up to uh, what these leftist Marxist activist movements really are. So that has been very interesting to see the awakening that is happening um, among Jewish people that would consider themselves liberals or consider themselves to be people on the left. Now, I wonder if these protests are going to continue leading up into the election. And I also wonder if, you know, if they're going to introduce a dead black person into the equation uh, so that uh, the pro-Palestine protesters and the, and the BLM people can all just get together and just, you know, be happy Marxists together. And it's really interesting that uh, these protesting, uh, these protests and all of this disruption only really seems to happen up to uh, and leading into an election year. It's really funny how that works. I'm starting to, to sense a pattern here.